Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to do a little pregnancy update. My belly. <laughs> um, I'll give you guys like more of a picture at the end, but I am officially 29 weeks. Um, while I'm filling, filming this video, honestly, like I can't believe that we're already in the third trimester. May is right around the corner and it just seems like this pregnancy has gone by so fast and it's been um, kind of just like a really uh, uneventful pregnancy, which has been good. Um, for the last couple of days though, I haven't really been feeling very good. Kind of been like getting over a stomach bug. Um, there's definitely been something going around too. So that's just kind of been like meh. But other than that, everything's been fine. Baby's been doing fine. I'm fine. Um, we are still planning to deliver at our local hospital since my midwife is no longer practicing um, home births. And um, I couldn't seem to find a good midwifery fit um, from the other midwives that were near me, um, and which weren't actually that many. So um, we've decided to still try and have another natural birth at the hospital. Um, and, you know, we're hopeful that that goes really well. Um, but I haven't really been able to dedicate a lot of time to YouTube, mainly because my private practice um, is just getting really busy. And I am busy with three kids and preparing for a fourth kid. Um, and so YouTube kind of gets put on the back burner. Uh, but I'm going to be trying to do my best to keep posting because I do really like making videos um, and including you guys in our lives. Um, but my private practice is going really well and I love being an IBCLC. Um, I just get to see everybody's little babies and help all the parents and, um, you know, I just feel really good at the end of the day. Um, just helping these families. Um, so I, as for like how I'm going to keep doing my private practice once um, the baby's here is obviously I will have some time to recover, but I am still planning to do virtual visits while I'm sort of on maternity leave, obviously like, you know, not every day, but um, if there is, inquiries. I do want to be able to keep um, my business going as well. Um, and I'm planning to still be in private practice um, after I deliver. So uh, But I've been experiencing a lot of heartburn, mainly just like a lot of fatigue. Um, he's not much of a mover, but he, he definitely does move, but uh, he is more, seems to be more of a mellow mover, which it would be nice. I do feel like my other three boys, uh, you know, definitely are all over the place sometimes. Um, But yeah, I mean, I don't really feel like I have too much to update you on with the pregnancy because there's just like not much is that not much has really been going on. Um, my family is throwing us another like baby sprinkle or shower. It's mainly just to like celebrate the life of this baby um, and, you know, come together as a community and family uh, to celebrate him. Uh, we don't announce his name until he's born. We actually don't know what his name is yet. We have a couple names in mind, but we don't usually announce the name until um, we meet the baby or until we meet him in this case. Uh, so people are still asking us if we are going to try for a girl. And honestly, like this was sort of our try for girl. So, um, we, I don't feel that we will be trying for a girl anytime soon or at all in the future. I do feel like if we were to try again, we would probably just get another boy. Um, 
So yeah, I do kind of find that question kind of silly sometimes, but I mean, I do get it like why people ask, but then sometimes I'm just like, uh, you know, like, isn't it sort of obvious that number four was, you know, to try and maybe have a girl, but um, obviously we're happy with whatever um, comes our way, but we were hoping to have a little girl this time. Um, but we are destined to be boy parents and um, I think uh, we're definitely just going to put our boys to work <laughs> and, um, you know, utilize all the strength that we have in this house. And then I am definitely, um, you know, treating myself to certain things that, um, you know, we don't do with the boys. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of funny because I do, f I come from a family with um, all girls. So it's kind of funny in hindsight that I have all boys, but we'll just have to see um what this little guy is like once he's here too because i'm sure he's going to be um totally different than what his brothers are but yeah um so this is my bump i am not really sure if i can like get up and show you guys but um just because um of how like my camera is right now but yeah this is our bump I feel like he's very high. I feel like he's like really high because I don't know if you can tell I'm like kind of out of breath and it's because he's like pressing on my lungs and I'm, I've definitely been having heartburn and indigestion because he's just like pressing on those areas all the time. And soon he will drop. Usually at this time your tummy is um, like at its highest, like your uterus is sort of at its highest. And then once he kind of drops into your pelvis, um, things, you know, kind of relax a little bit more. So we'll see, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little update and definitely comment below with any other videos that you're interested in me doing. Um, I'm hoping that we will get like some footage of the birth, just like what we did with Waylon's birth. Uh, so my husband is usually the one that's kind of on that. So I'm hoping we can, but since we are going to be in the hospital, you know, I'm not sure like what their requirements are for that, but we're hoping to um, film some of um, the birth uh, just because I do like, you know, having that because it's something that I do participate in, but don't quite remember all of. And so it's fun if I can like watch it and see. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video and thanks so much for watching.